Hi everyone, James Mantle here bringing you yet another video. Oh my God, you guys, I am so excited to do this week's video. Oh my gosh, I've wanted to do this for so long. We are doing a celebrity wig recreation. And with the help of Shop Will Beauty, I am going to create Totally Hair Barbie. Yes, Totally Hair Barbie. Yes, as you can tell from the dress I have on, this is a Halloween costume that doesn't quite fit, but we're gonna make it work for this video. I actually ordered custom fabric of this so I can make like a drag queen size version of it. I'm going that far with it. <laughs> but for a video that we're just doing right now, this will do. Now, Totally Hair Barbie is known as the Barbie doll that was first released with the longest hair ever on a fashion doll. Yes, she's since been topped by other dolls, but you know what? She was the first. And I want to take it on as a challenge, like the ultimate wig challenge, the longest length of hair I've ever styled on this channel. She's rocking inches now. So I'd like to give a huge shout out to Shop Will Beauty for providing the wig I'm going to be using in this video. The wig I'll be using today is the Rapunzel from Shop Will Beauty. This is her and girl, she is so long. Oh my God. Oh, holy cow. Like, she is long, sis. I'm so excited to use that she's held together with zip ties right now. <laughs> now, I'm going to get her unclipped so that we can get her on the wig head, and I'll be right back while we start styling this long wig, the longest wig I've ever styled. <laughs> be right back. All right, I am back. This is her on the wig head. Oh, my God. Look at that. Yes. Inches, y'all, inches. I could beat someone to death with this. Like, ow, ow, why did I do that? That was dumb. Oh my God, I'm gonna be doing a double stack today and this is gonna be our back ponytail piece, but it's going to be an extra stylized piece because if you look at Tolly her Barbie, her hair is sort of a crimped 90s texture, like crimp waves. So we are going to do something a little unorthodox. We're gonna be doing a bunch, a bunch of braids, which is why I have all of these hair ties right now. <laughs> because if I were to use a hair crimper on all this, I would be here for ages. So the fastest route to get to there is just to braid it. So here's what I'm going to do is just take little sections like that and just start having at it because I'm gonna end up layering it and teasing it so that we get a big giant ponytail piece. Now let me tell you, this doll takes me back. My sisters had this doll. And unfortunately, totally her Barbie in the Mansfield house as a child met a very unfortunate end. My sisters had totally her Barbie and Mermaid Barbie, which is the other doll that had the longest hair ever on a Mattel doll. Well, I digress. My sister thought it would be such a fun idea if they let Barbie get a tan. So she put Totally Hair Barbie inside of the pizza oven and turned it on for about five minutes. Needless to say, my parents smelled something burning like plastic and checked in there and she had melted all inside of the pizza oven. <laughs> it was so, oh my God, I mourned. I mourned Totally Hair Barbie. It's like uh, Suspiria. Deep red, scream, you know, saw. Nothing compares to that side I saw of that melted Barbie face, okay? My, this, is, these are the, this is the trauma. This, these are the things I carry, okay? I loved that doll too. My God. <sighs> well, no more. I'm going to channel all of that into this project now. <laughs> As you can see, we are making good progress berating. I honestly should call Ernesto in to do this. He's the braiding champ. He's so good at braiding. I take forever at it. No, 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 this is your project. Uh, 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 okay. This is what I get, honestly, because I'm keeping him up late filming these videos. <laughs> this is my punishment. But we're almost there. And like I said, I'm going to put a crimp in this because with hair this long, if I just kept it straight, it would be like all tangled mess and so much maintenance. This is gonna be a little more easier to maintain. Plus it's more true to life to how the doll's hair actually was. I'm so excited because I want to debut this at a brunch show. I think it's going to be so fabulous. And for those that know, they'll know. But it's honestly just me living out a childhood fantasy. I think that's a good stopping point. Look at that. So long. My gosh. Like I said, I've always been obsessed with this. And Totally Hair Barbie, again, aside from that very sad childhood story I just told, 
has always been in the back of my mind, like the recesses of my mind, like things that really inspire me. And I, know, I think it more or less like after like, you know, the lockdown and everything happened and I started buying up Barbie dolls and collecting is when it really started like come back to me. Anyone else go through that? Like I totally sparked up a Barbie collection through lockdown, just as something to do and something to collect, take my mind off of things just to collect these little beautiful things. But no, I love, 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 love the look of this doll because she's got like this poochy print dress that's so short. Like, ugh. <laughs> it's like Romeo and Michelle length of dresses, you know? The most extra doll that's ever existed before Barbie Extra. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you folks, this might end up being a two day kind of process for me because I feel like if I was here all night, I'll be here all night doing these braids. <laughs> But it's gonna be worth it because it's gonna be such a cool result. Oh, it started braiding on its own on the bottom. Why did it do that? That's weird. Did it not braid on its own? It did! <laughs> it totally did! Like it started working itself. Like I think there's spirits here and like the ghost that's here was a hairstylist. <laughs> or at least was really bomb at doing braids because it braided on its own, I swear to you. Go to the cameras, the cameras can see it. <laughs> You got to the bottom and then got distracted and went back in the middle. No, I didn't. It totally braided itself. You're a liar. It was just, we just have to agree to disagree. I think it's spirits. You know, maybe I'm a media. Maybe that's my next calling in life. I'm the, the whisperer, the ghost whisperer. I was once the wig whisperer and now I'm the ghost whisperer. Now I'm going to braid all this and I'll be right back. Now don't be surprised if I look entirely different because that means it's the next day. I'm doing this on Thanksgiving Eve, so... I'm squeezing a lot into one day. <laughs> so I'll be right back and don't be alarmed if I look entirely different. <laughs> all right, I am back. Now the hair is all braided up. Now I'm going to steam this and I'll be back another day because tomorrow is Thanksgiving and I got a lot of plans going on, okay? So yeah, we're gonna steam this and this is gonna crimp the hair for us. So yeah, I'm gonna get this all steamed up so we can curl the hair and I'll be right back another day because you know, it's. Thanksgiving tomorrow and I got a lot of plans going on. So I'll see you guys soon. Time jump. Whew. All right, cut day two. Good Lord, that took a long time. It don't look like much, but I managed to braid it and it took me several different braids to figure out like the like density of wave I wanted to create. And I settled on this one and it ended up actually being quite a few braids. So that's good. Now, one thing I did that I didn't show you that I've shown you plenty of times on how to do on this channel, I roller set the ends of it because otherwise the ends would have been like a weird straight inconsistency. So I roller set the ends. Let me just take them down and see how it did because I've never curled a wig at this length before. So, okay, so we got rolls. That'll be a nice pretty end. So sort of like how Barbie's always kind of like rolled up at the end. <laughs> that plop to the floor. Oh my gosh, I am so excited about this. Now I wanted to tell you, I have to give a huge shout out to Wigs by Vanity who did a whole series on her like Halloween costume of this, which I was enthralled by. And I was also a bit like heated about it because I had discussed with Shop Will Beauty about doing this wig when I saw he had this. Literally like a week before she had started doing her series. So I was like, God damn it. Now I figured enough time has passed after Halloween where I can do mine now. You could never have enough Barbie. Now I saw that some of you are some amateur sleuths in my community post that I did my cryptic message about what this bit next big video is going to be. This is it. <laughs> you are right. Oh my gosh. Ugh. It just always it gets me all giddy when I can like just post the picture of the fabric and people instantaneously know what it is. She looks like, you know, one of those parodies of like a Dutch girl. Look at them. Like her name is Olga. <laughs> Remember that scene in Cry Baby? With, um, I think her name was Inga, with, uh, they were gonna replace Tracy Lords with that Dutch, like, exchange student. It's like, y'all, y'all. <laughs> I love John Waters. Oh, speaking of fabrics, I wanted to show you guys this. I, this is the dress I got for, like, the Halloween costume, but it's not great. It's really, really thin. But I had this custom made. My friend Jonathan Borabic actually took the design from the dress and made me a complete design so I could screen print it on fabric. And I'm so excited to make like a drag costume out of it. <laughs> because they don't sell this fabric anywhere, so I had to have it custom done. I'm so excited to debut this at a brunch. Ugh. So excited to make that. Anyways, <laughs> back to the hair. It's time to take down the braids and see how we did. 
Let me just undo that and let me raise her up again because I need the height. All right. Here we go. Moment of truth. Let's see if this actually worked. It looks like we got a bit of a wave in it. That's what I wanted anyway. Because once I start brushing it all together, it's going to create like that hair consistency that she had. Because I didn't want to do it too small because it's not exactly accurate to how it was. This, I'm feeling good about that. It's a nice little crimp. Oh, gorgeous. And it's also gonna help with tangling. If it has a bit of a curl in it, it's gonna tangle a little less. If it's bone straight, it just immediately starts to swarm up with itself. Once I start adding some structure to this, it's gonna stay together for quite a bit before I have to do some high maintenance to it. I am so excited. Like, guys, I tell you this, this video took quite a bit longer than I thought it would. Well, I actually thought it would take a bit, but I like kind of overestimated it. <laughs> I overestimated my ability to finish something in one day, but I am so pleased with the result. Now, looking at the hair she had and seeing it from like friends' dolls collections that own the doll, she has sort of like a glorified ultimate mullet where it's like a bubble cut in the front like this and it like tapers back into just this long hair that goes all the way down to her feet. And I, of course, am not going to disappoint. We are going to try and create something similar to that with a little bit of a headband moment. And I tried, I scoured everywhere trying to find like gigantic hair clips. I don't know where the hell they buy them from, but I could not find them anywhere here in Vegas. All right, and it's gonna happen with hair this long is clip the ends. All right, I'm gonna let down a couple more of these braids and I'll be right back and we'll start clipping it and styling <laughs> it. All right, we are back. Now it's time to start styling it. I have the hair resting on a towel on the floor so it doesn't pick up any dog hair or anything. <laughs> Now it's time to start cutting and styling. I sectioned off a little bit of the top of the head right here and we're gonna cut it about mid-length because the reason why we put the curls in it is one, it's accurate to how the doll actually looked and two, if I wanted to tease it, I could blend it with the rest of the hair really easily. Straight hair, you can't really do that because the hair will show the inconsistency in length. I can blend this with hairspray and cutting if I really do it right. So I'm gonna cut half of it off. And the good news is the salvage, as long as I maintain it, I could use this for ventilating. Like this is a good like bundle of hair I could use to like do hairlines with. So it is duo purposed. So we're gonna keep setting those to the side. Now I'm gonna take the length I just cut, separate any long bits, and we're gonna start adding a tease to it. Cause Totally Hair Barbie has a bit of a 90s, 80s effect to her. Like she still has a mullet. So we have to be able to like layer this with each other. So I'm gonna make sure I have enough to like blend it with as well as like to like go naturally with the rest of the hair that I'm gonna attach it to. Now, as I was gathering clues, I was trying to think like, who is somebody that has hair all the way down to their feet? Like I know Rapunzel, Lady Godiva, Crystal Gale, Loretta Lynn's sister. I was always fascinated by her, you know, don't it make my brown eyes blue? She had hair that went all the way down to her feet. I don't know if it's that length anymore, but like for years, she wore like long bone straight hair. It was just like the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. I was like captivated by that. Growing up in Wisconsin, you saw a lot of country artists, like their records and stuff and the old jukeboxes. And I remember seeing that and thinking like, that can't be all her hair. Like that has to be like a wig or something. It's all her. And like being young and ignorant to like hair extensions and stuff, like she grew her hair naturally out that long. Like that's, you know, some country dedication, but you know, when your sister's Loretta Lynn, you gotta do something to stand out. And as I reach the second section of hair, I'm gonna go a little longer. Like I said, we're blending in layers. And the very end of this is probably not gonna get any teasing at all because it would just be impossible to do. It's gonna tangle up so fast. So we're not even gonna worry about it. And this is essentially what I'm doing. Like I'm probably gonna get to about this much and the hair is gonna keep getting longer and longer as I progressively tease it and then I'm gonna come back after I've cut and teased it and we'll start packing it and really styling it. So I'm gonna get back to cutting and I'll be right back. <laughs> All right, I am back. Now I teased out this whole section and I've been packing it just like that, just packing the hair in, making sure it is against the root of the head. And what I've also been doing is, let me show you. I, to do the back sections, like the very nape, I just part the hair like that and Using a pick comb like this, I've been pushing the hair up to pack it to the roots. It's an easy way of like pick teasing. That way the hair stays solid against it. You don't have that weird drop off with the hair where it's suddenly like short and then long. 
because we don't want that. We want it to all flow naturally into itself. So I'm pushing up like that and packing it and then just looking over the wig to make sure that like it's all flowing evenly. So when I brush it through, constantly brushing this thing by mind you i want to make sure it all just blends together with itself so that it all just looks like one solid piece now i feel like it's fairly solidly packed all together now what i'm going to do is i'm trying to try and smooth this top section i'm not too worried about the front because like i said this is going to be a ponytail piece so it's going to get connected to another wig so what i'm going to do is, is i'm going to start smoothing over it because no matter what once i start performing in this it's gonna be high maintenance hair no matter what. But I at least want it to look good for when I wear it for you folks in this video. Because I know every time I wear it, I'm just sitting there beforehand just like rah, rah, rah. But she's looking so pretty, oh my God. Like I am so excited for what this final result is gonna look like. I, I had a few ideas of like how to do this and like I honestly been like flying by the seat of my pants with this. I thought like I have to put teasing in it because it has to be big. Because if I just wore it flat against my head with those crimps, it would look absurd. Like it's gonna look like I have a wig on top of a wig. Like I want it to all look like it's one solid piece. And I feel like we're getting there with this. Let me show you the section I've been working on. Like it's pretty all smoothed out. It's giving, it's giving. It's giving pizza oven Barbie. All right, now let me lift it up some so I can show you the bottom. Cause I want it to all integrate with itself. And I feel like it's kind of happening. And I feel like it's, Fairly happening, like after layering it, it all kind of looks like one solid piece with a little bit on the edges just to give it that moment of like realism because it's gonna be up in a ponytail. So there's gonna be some bits that are a little shorter. I'm gonna smooth it out some and I'll be right back and we'll start our base wig, which is really, really easy. So <laughs> BRB. Okay, I am back. I have a new base wig all put down on the head. This is our Femme Fatale in 613, available at jamesmansfieldbeauty.com. Now, what I'm going to do here is, y'all already see me do this a bunch of times. It's gonna be my party pony, but with a different kind of bang because I need a sturdy base to put the ponytail on top of and I need as much real estate as possible right here because the whole wig is gonna take up this part of the head. And I'm gonna have to like do like some serious surgery to get that thing to attach because I have a feeling it's gonna be very heavy. <laughs> so I'm gonna pull out as much bangs as I want to play around with to create this 90s bang. And that I think should be good. I'm taking a, the majority of the top of the hairline and a little bit on the sides just to have a little extra insurance for bangs. And the rest is all gonna get pulled back and put into a French braid upwards. Okay, that's sectioned off. This is gonna be very, very easy for a base. So that you can throw it together yourself if you wanna try this again at home. And let's start with a perma tease on our base because that hair is huge. So our base wig has to also have a little bit of teasing too. And only doing this for the sections that's gonna be smoothed back because with her hair, when I was looking at it, it depended on like how you styled it because it was meant for kids to play around with the hair and really experiment with hair play. So sometimes she'd have like a full on headband across the face. Sometimes she'd have scrunchies in her hair, or, like those weird spiral hair ties that you could put inside of the, like your hair. I used to love those things, very 90s. Barrettes. Some people pulled it up into a big old ponytail like I'm going to do. It's kind of what I always did because as a kid, I was obsessed with ponytails and long hair. So yeah, the goal of this look is essentially like when I do the brunch, I want to find that crowd of Barbie fans. When they, when they see it, they instantaneously get taken back to like a place in childhood. Like, oh my God, I remember that. I used to love that doll. Those are the kind of things I like to do with my costumes, especially for like performing here in Vegas. I've been having a lot of fun just like making little references in my drag that I didn't used to do before. Like for Halloween, I had a lot of fun. I did Playboy Bunny, I did Elvira. And Christmas is gonna be rolling around and if I get to do a brunch gig, I have a couple of Christmas numbers planned that I never really did before. Like it's fun playing around with like the gimmicky side of drag and trying to insert your personality into something else. That's what I get for hanging around a bunch of cosplayers that kind of rubs off on you. The desire to dress up as a third property material. <laughs> We're nearing the end of the permit tease which means we're gonna have to start pulling back into a ponytail soon. Now y'all already know how I do my French braid updo, so I'm gonna prep it for an updo and I'm gonna do a quick cut like back right now. And we're back. All right, we're back. Now, it's time to start doing the bangs and do our attachment. So let's pull down the bang because after it's attached, I don't wanna keep like jerking the head a whole lot. So we're gonna just start doing our bangs now. Now she has 90s like bionic eagle claw bang. So that's what we're gonna do here. So I'm gonna start by doing a good tease down to the root and then we're gonna trim it. 
after it's all teased out. Sort of like how I do my bubble cuts. It's basically a bubble cut bang, but you gotta have lots and lots of teasing in it. And this should be a fairly quick section to do. Those of y'all who are well versed in my videos already know the steps I'm taking here. And those of you who aren't, well, I'll have cards going throughout the video and I also have some stuff linked down below. Just so you're not completely in the dark, if you wanna try and do this at home, you have all the tools at your disposal. Push it down to those roots. We want a nice sturdy base here for a bang. Let's start cutting. So, take it and cut at an angle. You should start seeing some flicks forming right here. It's gonna create that 90s effect. Very Patrick Nagel. And honestly, all I'm doing here is just playing with it a little bit to create sort of like a nice natural wave, sort of like, you know, beach wave. Make the hair look cool and effortless. Like totally bang. Cause like with her hair, it's already larger than life. So the bang has to reflect that. Cause what I'm trying to achieve here with these bangs is to make it sort of look like a larger than life doll's hair. Like it's been played with, it's not fresh out of the box, you know? She's given that nice, like, a little girl own this. Then with how over the top the proportions are for that ponytail, the base should match it somewhat. And these side fringes, I haven't quite decided what I'm gonna do. I might curl them and let them swoop up like that, just to cover my sideburns. That's honestly the purpose they serve. So, let's start attaching the ponytail. Yes! Ba -ba -da -ba 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 ponytail! Okay. <laughs> I am a little nervous, I'm not gonna lie. This is the biggest, longest ponytail I've ever attached to anything, so I don't know what it's gonna be like weight-wise. I created a pretty sturdy base here with the bun, so hopefully it should be enough. And I won't have to add any extra padding or anything, I can just bobby pin this in before I eventually zip tie it in. It is so big, it covers me. It like engulfs me, oh my God. All right, well, let's tuck in our bang. And like I said, I left this front section a little rougher because it's gonna get tucked in anyway. So I didn't bother styling it because it was not necessary. <sighs> Holy cow. <laughs> oh, I love it. Okay, let's start bobby pinning her on. We get a couple of these long pins. That's the result so far. Like, that is so cool. Oh my God, okay. Bobby pins. Now I've done this plenty of times on my videos on how to attach ponytail pieces and whatnot, so I'm not gonna go through it again. I'll link some videos below so you have an understanding. Like I said, all the tools are here for you. Now I'm gonna attach this and I'll be right back with the final result. <laughs> Welcome back. This is the final result. Oh my God, I am obsessed. It is so long, you guys. I have never had a wig that was this long before. This is so exciting. I probably have to make sure it's a little more secure when I actually wear it to perform in. Right now it's kind of just like thrown together. But like for the effect, oh my God. Like I totally feel like totally hair Barbie. Oh my God. This was such a dream come true to do. And I have to say a huge thank you to Shop Will Beauty for providing this gorgeous Rapunzel wig for me to style today and try out. I love it. <laughs> Look at us. Legend supporting legends, yes! Now, I love this hair, this is a dream come true. I couldn't believe I actually got to do this. It's like childhood memories come to life. But I had to take a moment, a then moment where I think everyone who's tipped me on, then though, I would like to thank Sergio and Eves. Thank you all so much for the tips on Venmo and Cash App and PayPal. Now this was so much fun to do. Let me know what you guys think down below. Oh my God. This wig is not as heavy as I thought it would be. It actually is very, very lightweight considering I feel like it has to do with the fact that I put it so high up on the head. Now don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, bye. Now hit the outro. Click here and see me style a prom queen from James Mansfield Beauty. Or see me give Britney Spears a makeover. Come on, click it. You know you want to. If you don't click it, I'll give you a lobotomy. So click it. <laughs>